Brooklyn Independent Television. All right, you can put the shirts on right over your clothes. Don't put the mask on yet. We're going to show you how to do that. Let me have a mask. What would happen if we're operating on a patient and I'm not wearing a mask and I sneeze? My bacteria can get into the patient or my body fluids. So we want to protect the patient, but we also want to protect ourselves. We feel that it's really important to bring the OR to the school because, one, um, it would be kind of hard to bring them into the operating room. So we wanted to create an experience where they can actually touch and feel because I know that, for me, seeing and touching and feeling really helps me learn and understand. We need someone to volunteer to be our anesthesiologist. Our anesthesiologist. What's your name? We go to elementary schools, to high schools, and teach kids about the operating room. One, to demystify the operating room so they're not, they're not scared if they ever have to go into surgery or if someone else does, and not intimidated by the clothing and the masks and all the things that you know, are involved. But also, we decided to dress the kids up like we do and have a mannequin and have them perform a mock surgery so that they can see the different roles. The circulating registered nurse's job is really important because her job or his job is to monitor everything that's going on. To be able to dress up, dress the part, and to be able to handle the actual surgical instruments, you know, might spark something in them that say, yeah, I might want to look into this a little further. How's your airway? Case of breathing? Yeah, oh yeah. All right, good. We've had a great response uh, from the school personnel. Uh, from the students themselves, they ask amazing questions, and we really are, are proud of um, how the program has taken off. They were really excited about it. I could see it in their faces. They all got lit up, and the students were sitting nicely and really attentive. They were really engaged in what was going on. They were really excited to learn about, to actually see like what we were talking about yesterday, like come to life. Yeah, please have a scalpel. Oh, you're the most polite student I ever met. Where's your scalpel? Right. The way you hand a scalpel, you never want to hand a blade. So you want to hold it like that, and you want to grab it like that. One of the things that we preface at our, at our school is not to be traditional. We want our students to get an education that is project-based or in some cases um, experiential learning where they're learning by doing. And then you want to grab it and you would open the skin? Everything is uh, based on projects, on presentations, which is one of the skills that are necessary in the medical community. And this particular program here actually epitomizes what we're doing. Phew, question. So what if the person is like really like in pain, like a lot of pain? Well, right now, the pain, you, you and your anesthesiologist have given the patient something to relax them, so they're comfortable. Our mission at Lutheran is we exist only to serve our neighbors. Also, too, we think that it's important for our fellow Latino and African American students to see healthcare professionals that look like them. I am in the ninth grade, and I play the role of the anesthesiologist. It was fun and it was helpful because we have a health careers class and, a, and our teacher, she teaches about what they do in the OR room, but it gave us a, a, um, a bigger picture. But an anesthesiologist in the hospital could probably start anywhere from $250,000 or not. So it definitely is a very good career. We come out knowing that any of these kids could be anything they want to be and we just want to expose them to some possible opportunities. Cardiologist. Neurosurgeon. Neurosurgeon. If we get one nurse or one doctor or one physician assistant or you know one anything in healthcare, um, it's really going to make a difference. Can we give our surgical team a big round of applause? All right. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.